Hello, my name is Danielle Harrison Green and I am with the University of Wisconsin Madison Division of Extension. And I get to come back to you to read another amazing book. Are you excited? Well, that's wonderful. Today's book read is Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday by Judith Borst. And the amazing pictures are by Ray Cruz. Can you tell what this book is about? That is a really good guess. This book is about a young boy's experience of having an entire dollar bill and then losing it. When we are done with the book, we will share an activity that you and your parent can do to help you learn the value of $1 and ways that you can keep track of spending. Are you ready for the book read? Well, I certainly am. It isn't fair that my brother Anthony has two dollars and three quarters and one dime and seven nickels and 18 pennies. It's a lot of money. It isn't fair that my brother Nicholas has one dollar and two quarters and five dimes and five nickels and 13 pennies. It's not fair. It isn't fair because what I've got is bus tokens. And most of the time, what I've mostly got is bus tokens. And even when I'm rich, I'm very rich, I know that pretty soon what I'll have is bus tokens. I know because I used to be rich last Sunday. Wow, isn't these pictures amazing? Last Sunday, Grandma Betty and Grandpa Louie came to visit from New Jersey. Do you know where New Jersey is? Great guess. They brought lox because my father likes to eat lox. They brought plants because my mother likes to grow plants. They brought a dollar for me and a dollar for Nick and a dollar for Anthony because mom says it isn't nice to say this. We like money a lot, especially me. My father told me to put the dollar away to pay for college. He was kidding. Anthony told me to use the dollar to go downtown to a store and buy a new face. Anthony stinks. Nikki said to take the dollar and bury it in the garden and in a week, a dollar tree would grow. Mom said, if I really wanna buy a walkie talkie, save my money. Saving money is hard. Because last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I went to Pearson's drugstore and got bubble gum. And after the gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And after that gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And even though I told my friend David I'd sell him all the gum in my mouth for a nickel, he still wouldn't buy it. Goodbye, 15 cents. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I bet that I could hold my breath till 300. Anthony won. I bet that I could jump from the top of the stoop and land on my feet. 
Nikki one. I bet that I could hide this purple marble in my hand and my mom would never guess which hand I was hiding it in. I didn't know that moms made children pay you. Goodbye, another 15 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money, except that Eddie called me up and said that he would rent me his snake for an hour. I always wanted to rent his snake for an hour. Goodbye, 12 cents. Anthony said, when I'm 99, I still won't have enough for a walkie talkie. Nick said, I'm too dumb to be let loose. My father said that there are certain words a boy can never say, no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father fined me five cents each for saying them. Goodbye, dime. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, by accident, I flushed three cents down the toilet. A nickel fell through a crack when I walked on my hands. I tried to get my nickel out with a butter knife and also my mother's scissors. Goodbye, eight cents, and the butter knife, and the scissors. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I found this chocolate candy bar just sitting there. I rescued it from being melted or smushed. Except the way I rescued it from being melted or smushed was that I ate it. How was I supposed to know it was Anthony's? Goodbye, 11 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. But then Nick did a magic trick that made my pennies vanish into thin air. The trick to bring them back, he hasn't learned yet. Goodbye, four cents. Anthony said that even when I'm 199, I still won't have enough for a walkie talkie. Nick said they should lock me in a cage. My father said that there are certain things a boy can never kick, no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father made me pay five cents for kicking it. Goodbye, Nickel. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, Kathy around the corner had a garage sale. I positively only went to look I looked at a half-melted candle. I needed that candle. I looked at a bear with one eye. I needed that bear. I looked at a deck of cards that was perfect except for no seven of clubs and no two of diamonds. I didn't need that seven or that two. Goodbye, 20 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. I absolutely positively was saving the rest of my money, except I needed to get some money to save. I tried to make a tooth fall out. Oh, I could put it under my pillow and get a quarter. No loose teeth. I looked in Pearson's telephone booths for nickels and dimes that people sometimes forget. No one forgot. I brought some non-returnable bottles down to Friendly's Market. Friendly's Market wasn't very friendly. I told my grandma and grandpa to come back soon. 
Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, I used to have a dollar. I do not have a dollar anymore. I've got this dopey deck of cards and I've got this one-eyed bear and I've got this melted candle. And some bus tokens. Did you like that story? Well, here are some questions to think about with your parents. How did Alexander get his money? Was Alexander happy about how he used his money? And why do you think he felt that way? Have you ever saved money for something? Here's an activity that you can do with your child. Explain that spending is using some or all of your money to buy things you want now. And saving is keeping some of your money to buy things in the future. It's not spending. Fill a container with 100 pennies, like this one here. Reread the portion of the story about Alexander's spending decisions. When you come to the phrase that says, goodbye 15 cents, ask your child to come up and remove 15 pennies from the container and give the pennies to you. Have your child repeat, goodbye 15 cents. As you come to each subsequent spending decision in the book, invite your child to come up and remove the correct amount of money and you can chant with your child, goodbye 10 cents or goodbye 12 cents. Again, have your child hand you the pennies. When the activity is done, ask your child, how much money did Alexander get from his grandma? How much was in the container? Does $1 equal 100 pennies? I hope you enjoyed this week's Money As You Grow book read. Thanks for listening, and we hope that you will join us next time and bring a friend. Bye!